I'm gonna be using Windows 7 in this video. Also, happy Valentine's Day. And uh, before we get into using Windows 7, I need to talk about the unit we're using this on. So, we're using the Dell Vostro 230 that I previously used in last week's video, and I got a hard drive in it. It has the capabilities to dual boot, and the second operating system that can run is Windows Vista, but with Windows 7, the, unfortunately, for now, there is no way for me to get the sound working, and yeah, there's no internet either, so I'm not gonna cover Internet Explorer since it's unsupported, and because of that, I can't get Edge on this thing. In fact, for context, the Internet Explorer on this computer is like the version from like when Windows Vista was originally released, or so something like that, and yeah, although Windows Vista has audio and network and graphics drivers, so yeah. So yeah, let's uh, hit the power button on the monitor, and I'm gonna start this thing up. Starting Windows. I don't really have the best camera angle for this because I have to use two times zoom. Because, yeah, this it's with this desk. So yeah. And yeah, I also, and yeah, this is actually, and fun fact, this is four days after Windows 7's paid extended support ended. Also in this video, I'm gonna cover Windows Live Movie Maker and Windows Live Photo Gallery, because why not? I ended up going through the effort to put them on here, why not use them? But yeah, this is effectively a clean install of Windows 7, apart from the programs I put on here. And yeah, you can see right here that this is almost entirely a clean install of Windows 7. When I originally opened this, the only thing I saw in here was this, which is a HD audio driver. Since we're already in it, let's cover the control panel. And then we can immediately uh, go right to uh, file, I uh, know, to Windows Explorer. I almost called it File Browser. But yeah. So I'm not gonna cover all of the system settings, but we have Action Center, um, which gives you information on security and stuff. And yeah, it's, you've also probably seen it because it has a tray icon here. Also, this isn't an activated copy of Windows, if I remember correctly. Let's go into System. I'm probably gonna be censoring some of the- there- oh wait. There is a- okay, yeah, that's been censored because- let's see. Now, here's the thing. This computer originally came with Windows 7, and as a result, it has a Windows 7 product key. Unfortunately for me, part of the product key sticker got ripped off. But yeah, so we also get information like this is an Intel Core 2 Duo E8400. It says 2.99 gigahertz. And still is a really great processor for the time. And the system is rated at a 5.1. I don't know what any of that means. I'm pretty sure this will the index. The score is from a 1.0 to a 7.9, and this is a 5.1, determined by the lowest subscore, which is the graphics. Now, yeah, the graphics desktop performance is pretty much what gives it the 5.1. And, yeah, and we're gonna go into appearance and personalization. Personalization, I'm gonna just use this theme, which is default, which I which I usually use, or I'll, but first I'm gonna... Cover, we have the default theme, which is Windows 7, followed by architecture, characters, landscapes, nature, scenes, and United States. And we have basic and high contrast themes, which are all of those, and nothing special. You've probably seen them before. This kind of looks a bit like Windows 98 with Windows 7 touch up. I guess. And then, yeah, that's pretty much the control panel, and yeah, we're just gonna open up File Explorer here. So yeah, it automatically opens up to libraries, which by default you have documents, music, pictures, and videos. I'm pretty sure you can, and libraries are effectively like virtual folders. We have these, I'm pretty sure a DVD could put in there, and yeah. So, pretty much, we have a few different branching out areas that we could go into here. We could go into this, which I'm not gonna do, cause I don't want to 
get copyrighted off. But we have all of this stuff, which is sample content, multimedia content, which I'm probably gonna be forced to use for sample content in photo gallery, media player, and movie maker, because I don't usually put lots of data on these things because, well, they're older units, and usually with older units, unless you're gonna be temporarily daily driving them, I mean, you probably shouldn't be storing data on them. So we're gonna cover XPS Viewer first. XPS Viewer. <laughs> Just gonna go and this is pretty much uh, I'm just using that but this is Windows Media Player I don't have any sound for this let me just X out of that the pictures we have we actually have this which is a screenshot that I took a bit back on like January 11th. This is photo gallery although if we're talking about the OEM windows of oh, this is reinstalled photo viewer which is called Windows Photo Viewer. Fun fact I'm pretty sure this is still in Windows 11 to this day but you can't really open it because this program you can't really pin it to the taskbar because it's a because it's a DLL file and yeah it only will open if there's no other photo viewer but yeah so we have other things to cover let's cover the desktop gadgets which well yeah it should be noted that the number of pre-installed gadgets has decreased from windows vista i mean for one thing i remember there being like a money gadget and a contacts gadget on windows vista which aren't on here in windows 7. i'm not gonna cover the gadgets, but yeah, you kind of get an idea. Windows Anytime Upgrade was supposed to be an upgrade thingy that I don't think it works anymore. Because, well, because the only version of Windows 7 that is technically still supported is a, is a very rare version that ends support in, like, October of 2024. And I'll probably put up the name of it on the desktop, you know, on the video, in the video editing. So now we have Movie Maker, which we've all probably used at one point. And we have tons of visual effects. I'm not going to use that because, well, yeah, we're just going to use that. Ugh. But yeah, you can see this is Windows M Movie Maker. I just put this in a as a sample. We're not going to save that as a movie. We have Windows Fax and scan, which we can't use because I don't have a fax machine, nor do I have a scanner. We have all sorts of games, which I'm not going to cover in this video. MS Paint got an upgrade from Windows Vista. I think. Untitled.png. But yeah, we have Windows DVD Maker. Uh, oh, that was kind of hard to... Unfortunately, I don't have a DVD to burn this to. So I'm just going to hit cancel. I'll probably do this and I'll probably pick back up on that maybe in the future. Now that we've covered those, let's cover stuff like snipping tool, which allows you to do that. Sound recorder, which can't be used because, well, no sound. But I remember using that a bit. <sighs> We have calculator, which is a calculator. I'm not going to cover it. Remote desktop connection, which is a desktop connection thingy. <laughs> Winverb, which gives us this window. Windows 7 Professional Service Pack 1. Math input panel. Yeah, there's still running in the background. Windows Live Mail, which probably going to ask us to put in an email. But you can see um, calendar, contacts, all that stuff. Uh, there's getting started, which usually shows up first thing when you initially start up after installing Windows Vista. We have PowerShell, which I'm not going to cover. Windows Journal. 
sticky notes, notes. We have all these note colors. Uh, pretty much that was in Mac OS for some time. Uh, notepad, which. Oh yeah. Anything else in the accessories? We don't want to do connect to a projector, connect to a network projector. Because I don't have a projector anymore. I used to have a projector. We have all these system tools which I'm not going to cover. Ease of access. I'm not going to cover WordPad in this video. Maintenance is maintenance stuff. And now we're going to cover Windows Media Center. If it will let us. Ah uh, yeah, that's full screen. There's Access Library, which presents us with these games. Picture Library, which presents us with that stuff. And there's other things. But yeah, that's Windows Media Center. And yeah, I don't really think there's anything else that is of note that I should cover since Internet Explorer doesn't work. But that is Windows 7 in 2023, or well, a demo of when a demonstration of Windows 7 in 2023. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you soon. Bye.